The Three Falls of Niagara are not just a beautiful view, they also are very powerful. Beauty and power, the two natures of Niagara Falls. And this is best displayed at the Power Vista here in Lewiston, New York. So let's go inside and check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do when you come into the building is get to the front desk and get your Power Player badge. This is a great way to personalize your visit. You can gain points from games and challenges throughout the different kiosks through the building, and it's a great way to store photos and those points for when you come back. So you registered your badge. Now you're ready to see the main portion of this power plant museum. It's going to be interactive displays and exhibits. And the best part about this is it's all free. Okay, so first off, you have this entire floor of interactive exhibits, displays about how electricity works, how magnetism works, some history of power and famous inventors like these above me here. You have Tesla, Edison, Benjamin Franklin, and others. So a great spot for people of all ages and really fun for kids and adults alike. So this entire interactive display is a great place to let the imagination run wild for kids and adults to build their own power grid, their own hydroelectric generators. You can put down a solar field like so and decide where you want to put it, You know what's going to give you the max uh, capacity, what's going to give you the most efficiency. So it's just really fun to interact with the board. One of the many benefits of harnessing Niagara River for power is that it's very clean and green. This area does focus a lot of attention on keeping that green initiative here. Between the Native the Mist boats going electric, many different electric stations, charging stations for electric vehicles placed throughout the city, and then obviously beginning with this hydroelectric power plant. I feel the electricity coursing through my veins. Is it sticking up? <laughs> does this like ground it? Oh, that's so cool. On to the next step, which is a 4D simulator ride. So let's go. Oh, we get a little wet on this one. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we've been exploring this level with all of the interactive exhibits about power, the history of power. We saw a 4D movie theater, but that's not all because there's an entire lower floor with even more to offer. So let's go with the flow to the exhibits below. As soon as you come down to the lower level, you're greeted by a painting by Thomas Hart Benton of the first time a European saw Niagara Falls. His name was Father Hennepin, a recollect priest from France. And in 1678, with help from indigenous guides, he would find the falls and proclaim beau fleuve, which means beautiful flow or beautiful flowing waters. Now you also have a great section here about the birth of Niagara Falls, how the falls and lakes were formed. Um, over here, you also have a great section on the Great Lakes. This water all comes from the Great Lakes. Whether it goes over the falls or through the power plants, the Niagara River comes from Lake Erie, the fourth Great Lake, goes to Lake Ontario, the fifth Great Lake. Now, all of the water that could go over the falls that came through the river did, it'd be 1.5 million gallons per second. During the daytime hours of the tour season, which is May through October, you have 50% flow taken away through the underground tunnels to the power plants. The other 50% allowed over the falls. The Power Vista also pays homage to the Iroquois, which were the first peoples here, 
You have a timeline and some exhibits of artifacts from that era. And our last step through history will be the construction zone, which gives us a great opportunity to look back and see what it was like to build this power plant. Here we are on the outside deck to view the gorge and the power plants behind me. You have the Sir Adam Beck Power Stations 1 and 2 in Canada, and then the Robert Moses Niagara Power Plant on the New York side. And what they do is actually move water or divert water through underground conduits that take the water about two miles from before the falls, divert it through the cities underneath the cities of Niagara Falls, New York, and Ontario to big reservoirs on each side about 40 billion gallons of water in both reservoirs. The water will then be pumped through four bays, down the power plant's penstocks, the turbines at the base of each. So this deck is a great view of the power plants, the huge concrete walls on each side. Uh, they say there's enough concrete between all of the underground tunnels and the power plant's face wall to make a two-lane highway from here to Jacksonville, Florida. So all that we've been exploring today is completely free. Definitely recommend that you come see the Power Vista. They have events throughout the year, so make sure you mark it down on your list to come back here when you're in Niagara Falls, USA. For all this and more, you can visit explore-niagara.com, and we'll see you soon.